This right here is the kind of news that makes me jump out of my couch, run upstairs to my studio, turn on all my lights, and just get excited to talk to y'all. What we're going to be discussing here today, guys, is we've got an announcement giving us the baby steps we need towards a Friday the 13th reboot movie. That's right, a movie. And it is some juicy information, because from the sounds of this update, we're going to get a Friday the 13th movie, whether we're going to like it or we're going to hate what they do with it. I'm going to be breaking down all the information here for you guys, but I want to know from you, do you get excited knowing Jason Voorhees has finally escaped the clutches of the legal battle? And even though he's still not completely whole and intact and free to give us so many more movies, we're now finally starting to get a lot more Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th love in our life. We got the upcoming Peacock series. Now we got this reboot. Another video game now, please. All right, so this news is coming exclusively from Bloody Disgusting, one of my favorite horror movie websites. Check them out. And they broke the story here letting us know Sean S. Cunningham developing Friday the 13th reboot, House reboot, and Night Driver. And reading through the article here, just sticking to the Friday the 13th stuff, they kind of catch us up on what's been going on with Jason Voorhees the past couple of months. Because just to bring you up to speed, they are working on a Friday the 13th prequel series that'll be coming out on Peacock. Showrunner on it is Brian Fuller, which gives me a lot of hope for the future of this thing. It's it's also being produced alongside A24. The name of the show is Crystal Lake. Rumor has it that it'll be focusing on Jason's mom, Pamela Voorhees, and then working its way through the Friday the 13th lore, letting us know how Jason became the monster he is today. Now, anytime I brought up that prequel series, I got a lot of moans and groans in the comments section, eyeballs rolling back, people demanding, we just want a movie. We want a movie. Stop giving us this prequel stuff. And it looks like those people's prayers might have been answered because they have it here that Sean S. Cunningham was working with writer Jeff Locker on his house reboot and this movie, The Night Driver. And as they were working on that, they started talking about a Friday 13th reboot and had this to say. Sean hired me to do a rewrite on The Night Driver. And after working closely with director Jeremy Wise and him on that, we naturally got talking about Friday 13th and House. Jeremy and I pitched our dream of Friday 13th with Sean's blessing to keep developing it with him. Locker continues, obviously the prequel TV series has a reignited interest about a new film. So we're hoping the surrounding excitement will inspire both sides to come together and give us a Jason on the big screen again for the first time in 14 years. I'm gonna stop the quote right there because the next thing he says is a little mind-blowing to me as a fan. So breaking down that first half before we get to the next part, this writer right here is basically talking about why it's so difficult to get a Friday 13th movie done. Although Jason is no longer in the courts and going through a legal battle, the end result of that case left it that the rights for Jason Voorhees are basically split down the middle. Victor Miller, the original writer of that first movie, basically has ownership of everything in that first Friday the 13th film and everything that was included in it from Camp Crystal Lake, Pamela Voorhees, the origin of Jason, even little kid Jason. It's even interesting going back and reading some articles after they won that legal case and what the lawyer said they could do with the property. His lawyer said, we can license television rights, exploring Crystal Lake and how Jason became who he is. Think Twin Peaks or Bates Motel. That article was a year old and it was only a couple months ago that we learned that they're gonna make a prequel series. So with Sean S. Cunningham, he here, he's just trying to make Jason as we know and love him as an adult with the hockey mask, the classic costume, holding the machete and going after victims. But because of the legal situation, we knew that as for what Sean Cunningham is able to do without Victor Miller, it would seem that he can't use Jason Voorhees without Miller's permission, which ties his hands quite a bit. So now bringing it back to all this new information that we're learning today, if Sean S. Cunningham is trying to get a reboot done, something that would start the franchise all the way fresh, he's got a writer on it. They just got to get Victor Miller's permission or his involvement in the project. That way he can earn some cheddar. We could finally be getting this Friday the 13th reboot. And I have to say, I think it could actually happen now. I thought it was impossible because these two guys were in court for several years fighting each other. But then it's also funny that even after that court case, they kind of need each other to still make some money off Jason. However, I did mention there is a catch to this entire story. And if for some reason, Victor Miller is happy just making his prequel TV series series on Peacock using Jason that way because although a lot of you moan and groan and are upset and think this prequel will not have Jason eventually in the hockey mask and everything you are kind of wrong they've already come out and said the prequel series can do anything any of the Friday 13th movies have done before they said exactly the movie rights are completely different thing they are tied up at new line and are super super messy and probably won't be untangled anytime soon but as far as us chickens in the television industry a roost 
we have access to anything and everything that Friday 13th has done up until this point. Which to me translates to like two or three seasons of this Crystal Lake series dealing with Pamela Voorhees, little Jason maybe being born, the father of Jason, and then like in season four and five, he's an adult now. He's got the hockey mask. We could see him shooting up in space. They've joked around about them going to space. So if Victor Miller then is salty about this legal battle, doesn't want to work with Sean, is happy using Jason in this format, they do have a plan B to still give us another movie. The rest of the half of his statement says here, we also have a plan B for a sequel to the original we think fans will absolutely love and should avoid any legal entanglements. That to me is so fascinating. So basically we have two options for the way this Friday 13th reboot could go. We could get a reboot where the both parties agree, we get classic Jason, he'll have his origin, he'll have his hockey mask, we'll get something new and fresh that I've been dying for with Jason Voorhees, or they're going to do this direct sequel to the original movie, which I guess is within their legal right, since Horror Inc. and Sean S. Cunningham own the rights to kind of like the sequel, Jason, and maybe they'll go the route of something of Halloween 2018, but we already know, at the end of the day, he still needs Victor Miller's permission to use Jason, so what that means, we'd get a direct sequel to the original movie that doesn't have Jason Voorhees? Because if he's not agreeing to make a reboot, why would he agree to let you make your own direct sequel. That's kind of the part that's like boggling my mind and I wish we had the exact detailed documents telling us what they are and aren't allowed to do. Plus, would any fan out there be excited to watch a movie titled Friday 13th that didn't have Hockey Mask Jason? From what I understand, Sean S. Cunningham can use the costume of Jason Voorhees, his hockey mask, his machete, but then he can't use Jason. So does that mean they're going to go like a Friday 13th part 5 route where it's going to be a copycat someone pretending to be Jason, but they never call him Jason and then we technically get a Friday 13th movie with a guy in a hockey mask and a machete like sure it'll look like our Friday 13th movie but inside it's an empty nugget. We've seen companies do these kind of legal loopholes before. I mean, take the Child's Play reboot of 2019. I'm someone who didn't mind that interpretation of Chucky. I actually had a bit of fun with it. Of course, I still prefer the OG Chucky, but that movie was done through a legal loophole. MGM owned the rights to the first Child's Play movie, so they could call it Child's Play, redo the same story, keep the same names of the characters, Andy Barkley, Chucky, but he couldn't resemble or act like the Chucky that showed up in the sequels, Charles Lee Ray, so they made Buddy, a kind of nicer, sweeter AI robotic doll that I do think was an interesting take. We could see essentially Jason Voorhees get buddyfied. I'm not saying turn into an AI robot, but he could be turned into something that isn't the character we know and love. That could be interesting, but there's like a 1% chance fans will accept that. I don't know. At the end of the day, that's what we got here going for us. Hopefully the two parties come together. They work it out. You're going to make money, man. Work that deal out. Give the fans the Friday 13th reboot we actually want instead of a direct sequel where you have to do some legal loophole hurdles to give us kind of a Friday 13th movie. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.